Welcome to another exciting episode of Doug's Electronic Repair Bench. Uh, good afternoon YouTube. Back here with you once more. Show you I have the uh, Regency AM FM stereo radio all boxed up, ready to go. Um, James has not uh, given me his address. I have not heard from him. So I don't know how long I'm gonna wait, but I won't gonna I'm not gonna wait forever. Um, so probably I I tried to uh, get on his uh, channel and use the uh, messaging, but there's no way of doing that. He doesn't have an about on his channel, and uh, so I, I can't I couldn't send him a message. So uh, maybe he'll watch it here eventually or whatever. But anyway. Uh, it's ready to go, and if it doesn't uh, doesn't work out, I guess I can pick somebody else. But like I say, I gave him a little while to uh, get back with me. And here's the uh, completed case. It's not completed, I should say. It still needs the screws and the plexiglass, but uh, all the gluing has been done. It, uh, it is all glued back together now, and it seems pretty sturdy. So I just have to uh, install a couple screws here. And I'm not sure I'm even going to worry about this part here because with this attached pretty securely, that doesn't really go too far. Uh, the wires hold it down pretty good. So unless there's a battery in here, it probably would make a difference. But we'll see what happens with that. I, I can always get a strip of Vel Velcro or something like that to, uh, to hold it down. So I'm not going to worry about that a lot. So um, anyway, I found, uh, like I said, the... Uh, Plexiglass, it's an 8x10 uh, sheet. It's not really, I don't think, plexiglass per se. It's, it's pretty thin and uh, I'm supposed to be able to cut it with a, a razor knife. So um, I'm going to try to get a piece of that and next time I go to uh, Home Depot. And we'll put that in there again. I think I'm just going to, I just think I'll, I'll just use some glue and glue that in there because. Uh, it's, it's too hard to uh, it, it's probably too hard to line up with the uh, the holes and things like that I guess I could use those top holes I don't know that might work those top holes I think will line up uh, will let me get around the uh, edge of the uh, what do you call it I don't know we'll see but that's uh, on down the road I just I did, did get this all glued and everything I want to show you that so that's on the uh, on the, the thing I've uh, been thinking about uh, I'm doing a series of uh, videos on troubleshooting um, using signal injection and signal tracing. Um, I, I, as most of you guys probably know, I watch Jim Linden as a lot, his videos. And I, I know he does it on purpose, but it just kind of bugs the crap out of me when he goes into his uh, <laughs> searching off into the blue distance for troubles and it really has nothing to do with anything that's probably the problem. He just sort of goes off in search of it on his own using no logical troubleshooting methods, which that's what he wants to do. He, he said he, he, he likes to, to explore or whatever you want to call it and find his way that way. And in the last few ones he's tried to do uh, radios he's done, he's tried to do them without a schematic and things like that. He, he was successful on one or two of them and this latest one he's, he's had to refer now to the schematic to get it in place and he says he's back on a, a logical type of troubleshooting trail which you know I don't remains to be seen. But anyway uh, that's okay for him. I, I, I just it just you know when you're in a repair business you, you know and he's probably said this too as well he says uh, you know, if you're if you're on the clock and and uh, you need to uh, find the trouble fast, tr logical troubleshooting is the way to go because you pinpoint the uh, problem a lot quicker that way. And uh, so I've done it both ways, and believe me, the logical method works best for me. So I may try to do that. I don't know what I'm going to need. I've got the signal tracer and the, and the uh, signal generator. Um, those uh, 
two of the main things you need to uh, for signal injection and signal tracing, obviously. And um, what I need is a good good radio that I can demonstrate these principles on. Something that's easy to uh, illustrate as far as you know uh, where the problem might be and, and uh, how to uh, go about checking the problems, things like that. Um, so. I'm on the search for one of those right now. Now, these uh, radios, the uh, Zenith and the uh, GE that I have, the tube type radios, I don't think either one of them are, are that great for that kind of an explanation, but they might be. We'll have to look at them a little closer. But Anywho, uh, this, uh, now I, I did want to also insert a, uh, a picture, and you guys can freeze it or whatever you're going to do if you want to read all the names, but this, this list that I'm posting here is all of the uh, names that was in the drawing for the uh, the radio, and uh, I didn't put post the final list when I had the drawing. That was a mistake on my part, but we were a little confused when we did that. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna put that picture up right here. So now you've seen the uh, list, like I said, if you need to pause it, you can pause it to read your name on there or whatever. But uh, that, was the, uh, that was the total list of the uh, people that uh, was in the drawing, it was in the hat. So I just wanted to, to let you know that anybody who didn't think they got included or whatever, uh, I think there were 29, I believe is what the final number was, people in the hat. So. Okay, I think that's about all I have for this time. Um, don't want, didn't want to make a long video. Um, just sitting here on Saturday afternoon, not much going on. The girls are at home, and they uh, don't know if they'll be back till next Wednesday or what. But um, they've had chores to do at home and help watch the little one, Lainey. She's uh, there. I think. In fact, I think her and her mother's going to be moving back into her mother's house. Um, I think this weekend, so we'll see how that turns out. But uh, anywho, guys, you guys have a great day, and thanks for watching.